Tonight, we are rolling out the iPads for the start of the 2013-14 school year. We are, we are putting iPads one-to-one -one in, in the hands. This one here. Question? Yeah, she's here. <laughs> okay. Um, I think tonight justifies with all the help that students need to set up their accounts. It justifies exactly how much this technology is needed. There are some students that are not spelling their email correctly, and so they can't verify their account. I mean, it, it, that's something that they're going to need to do over and over again in the future. I think our kids tune out an awful lot because they aren't used to not having moving pictures and they aren't used to not having technology at their fingertips a lot. This is going to keep them more engaged. This is how they learn. They're different than we were. We put iPads in the hands of every teacher over a year ago and told them to get ready. So this is not, it's not been a, just a quick process. All of the books that I teach in AP Literature this year, um, I prefer to use iBooks. And so we'll get iBooks down, downloaded on theirs. A lot of the classics are free. So really easy, the kids can highlight. Now they can highlight, keep notes, do whatever they need to do in the book. And then, you know, we, I don't have to worry about them um, writing in the book anymore. One of the things I've had my students do is uh, with The Great Gatsby with iMovie, the iMovie app in the App Store, they have created music videos about a character um, to show what they know about a character. So instead of, okay, you know, fill out a worksheet in which you're explaining a character from The Great Gatsby, show me with music. I know it'll help me keep better notes because I have naturally sloppy handwriting and it's a better opportunity for me to stay organized and stay connected to school outside of school, working from home on assignments that teachers will give me. This is a, really a, a historical event here at Lancaster High School.